episode of I Got Drink. Special guest, super special guest. Y'all know who he is. If y'all don't know who he is, look, this is who he, who are you, bro? Tell the people, man. Chili Chill. Man, look, my name is DJ Chili Chill. Uh, today, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm taking over the I Got Drink show. Today we already drinking uh, champagne. This is, this, our is, this is our water for the day. This is our, water our mimosas for the day. right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With our simple lemonade, it's barely out. And simple lemonade right here, it's always gonna be. I'm glad it's always gonna be full. Everything else we gonna have is what we gonna feature. But chill. Why you know are we drinking that? champagne? Shit. <laughs> it's a celebration. <laughs> Every time. Yo, Real talk. Make sure y'all keep watching this shit. It's about to go it's down. It's a celebration. <laughs> hey, every time. Huh? <laughs> shit. Real talk. Now, I mean, it just, it, that's the way life is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But look. Every hour, every minute, all that shit's important as fuck, right? Yeah. So, you know what when your glass get full, he just let me know. So, look, I got something for you. Man, you start bearing gifts already? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I don't know if y'all know who Chill is, y'all. I don't hey, even look, know if y'all know. I got a gift for you. There you go. One day. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Well. <laughs> hey, what we drinking, Bel Air? You like that? I love it. And look, I'm opening this for you. I like opening gifts. Like when Christmas come around, I'm the nigga that open everybody gifts. Here you go. Yeah. And hey, look, I be like, <laughs> hey, I can't wait. <laughs> Might not make it, but open that oh, up. Yeah, man. Yeah. Look at the back of it, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna see the back before y'all. Oh yeah. Hey, I got I got some paint shots. Go with this fit right now. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, look at the front. What it say? Ah, look at the back. Y'all right. be self made. Already. Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. Yeah. Look, so, I'm gonna wear this for, for the day. Thank you. So, look, before I get started, since I'm gonna pour and drink, I gotta wash my hands. So, tell me, I need you to pour this for me. I need you to wash my hands. Y'all pay attention. This, pour this shit right is real. Here. Pour this on my hands right now. All right, that's good. Now I, can, now I can get to work. Now I get to work. So look, I got three different types of, I got now I got numerous types of liquors. So yeah. I work for this company called Severn. Okay. Severn is the one that distributes all of this stuff with, um, I thought this shit was gonna dry up by now, I ain't gonna lie. It ain't sticky, it just feel like I need, a, hey, a paper towel or something, somebody. But anyway, I thought it should have been dried up by now. If I was in the streets, it would have been dried up because it's so hot outside. Hey, you notice there ain't no mosquitoes been outside lately? Bro, it's been, it been weird. that hot. Yeah. It's been, they ain't no mosquitoes been hot, dog. <laughs> they hide. They, yeah. they in the shade, y'all. <laughs> so look. Go in the shade. So look, what I'm going to do first is, we're going to do the bamboo. Yeah. Okay. You, ever had, you ever had the white bamboo? I have had the white bamboo before, man. It was actually pretty good, bro. Okay. Yeah, I think I had it too. You had it too? I think so. Look, so look, you wanna you wanna exclude that and do something else since you no, had it before? No, we wanna try it out, man. We want I wanna tell. It's, it's been a while. I don't know what it tastes like. Wait, you say that again? I wanna try everything. You sure? I'm sure. Well, you want it now? Well, I hear it. <laughs> Get ready. So yeah, so this what this what I do, bro. Like, so um, I'm gonna pull up all the different liquor. Okay. Today we are gonna try it out, and I'm taking over y'all fucking show, cause I know everybody else come on here. You know, y'all supplying a drink. I said, well, let me give them a break. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, I'm bringing all these liquor on here because I, last time I was on here, I bought, I think, three different Bel Airs. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So the company that I'm bringing now, the company that I work for now, same company, I should say. Yeah. They, um, everything that came out since then, like two years ago, when I first started the show, one of the, I'm bringing, um, man, open this shit. More drunk. champagne, bro. I've been drinking. Hey, bro. How long have you been drinking? I've been drinking since uh, a little, little after nine o'clock. Well, you know, I got started. Nine p.m. today. What time you? What time you got here? Um, it was probably about ten thirty. All right, what well, about two? <laughs> I started about eleven. I started drinking by eleven, so I'm gonna be on y'all level when I when I got here. Give it to me, Raymond. No, you ain't gonna have no fingernails with, nail. with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> rough. Hey, it ain't for no sober person. I promise you. <laughs> y'all watching me struggle? I got it. Hey, so anyway. If I get it, you owe me. Man, look. Yeah. It is what it is, you know? So look, what you been up to? What kind of business you got? What you doing? Man, so me, I've been pushing the I Got Drink brand mm -hmm. on the Antidote Network. Man, we just trying to find, you know, new drinks, new companies to sponsor us. Okay. Uh, just, just trying to grow, man, you know what I'm saying? It's always about growth. 
Because, you know, yesterday ain't the same as today. Right. So, you know, we got to continue. You know, we're trying to hit that success like that bottle of uh, champagne you be popping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to get the success like the Cartier's you win. You know what I'm saying? That's a blessing, man. Hey, look, Real I got talk. these. I'm trying to be like him. Man. You know what I'm saying? I got some Gucci, man. Hey, these Gucci's ain't hitting nothing like what you got on that. <laughs> Price tag like four times four. But anyway, what you been up to? What you got going on? Um, I've just been working. Um, working on 225, working on I Got Drink. Um, real estate school. You know, just the usual. Hair side, I got my lash bar. So I need your lashes. So I've been working on that. Now look, I ain't gonna tell you no lie. See the shit, all that shit you say, you should say your hair down to the fuck. Cause that's your brand, right? Oh, I ain't yeah. trying to. Hey, I ain't trying to be funny. <laughs> and look, shout out to the antidote. I got drink, I got and all that. But guess what, nigga? You ask me what I'm doing first, nigga. I'm, I might tell you Bel Air, but that ain't gonna be the first thing I'm gonna bring up to you. You gonna let you know? You the brand like, first. In goddamn name, I'm a brand name. I'm a fucking name. <laughs> shit. Hey. Two, five is a project I'm working on. I'm a writer and an actress on it, so make sure y'all tune in. You shouldn't be talking about that. Out. Hey, she's still missing my point. Hair <laughs> exotica, that's your shit, right? It's my shit. All right, then. Yeah. Cool. You working with somebody on 225, right? Yeah. All right, then. And then after 225, I mean, after hair exotica, you should have said IGT, because this is your shit, because you co host on this, right? Yeah. All right, then 225. Hey, but look, you did you did it how you wanted to, that's just how I would have done. That's just <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? You got to shoot your shot first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what First is me, then it's you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Real talk, that's just how it goes. Hey, what you do with hair exactly? What y'all do over there? Um, I do lash extensions. Lash mm. extensions, hair extensions. Um, yeah. So if you need those lash extensions or strip lashes, hit me up. You rocking your brand, your brand today? This is. See? See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Now, we can start off with a cheers to that shit right now. A toast to that. Huh? Right to y'all. And what we drinking? The. Is that bamboo the cream? One, the bamboo cream. That's right. Mmm. I ain't lying. Okay. See, yeah. I drink this around wintertime when it's cold. You know what I'm saying? Well, around holiday season. One of them holiday season drinks to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't drink this in summer. In the summertime. This shit good as fuck though. You like it? I do like it. But, hey, you got a bottle you can have today, bro. Real talk. That's yours. Man, y'all make sure y'all go check out this bamboo cream. Right, look, I ain't gonna lie. I done had all the bamboo before. I done I had this one too, but it's so long that. ago. That's why I said holiday season. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. Yeah. It, it reminds you of Christmas. Yeah, but I always go back to this shit here. See this motherfucker here? Never leave me around. This black bottle. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to Black that Rose, Bella, y'all. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Bella. Yeah. Alright. Hey, yo, if y'all forgot, this is our water for the day. Yeah, in case you forgot. So, um, how did you become an ambassador for them? To be honest with you, I went to the store. Mm -hmm. And I was buying so much liquor at the store. I told the story before. <laughs> I don't like to repeat myself, but I'll say it again. For those that missed it the first time. <laughs> but, the, the liquor... Got the liquor store, I was buying at least two cases a week. Yeah. You know, which cost about 350 bucks. A champagne. A champagne. The guy thought I had a liquor store. And he was like, man, <laughs> what you do? I said, man, this is for the, I go to the lake every Sunday. And I'm always like on the rooftop. Like rooftop bars are my favorite. Yeah. I like to hang out with the partners or whatever. So you'll see me like out and about. And I'm just pouring champagne for everybody when they're walking by. You know what I'm saying? I got my cooler. I got a famous cooler, bro. And everybody know me for my cooler and shit. So when you see my cooler, I just make sure I'm stocked up on whatever alcohol I'm drinking. Yeah. And I used to drink a lot of um, vodka and stuff like that. Yeah. But I stopped it because it made me feel so wild and rugged and stuff on the highway. I didn't like the way I was feeling. I'm gonna ask you a dumb question. So what you got in the cooler, bro? Champagne. What else? Champagne? Yeah. Why you like champagne so much? I don't get. I don't, it's, I got 50 million reasons why I don't like champagne. I got plenty of them. <laughs> but the number one reason why I stopped drinking champagne, honestly, is because um, I would be on the road with something smooth. Yeah. And I ain't got all, all walked up and shit. I used to drink vodka real hard. And I would be on the road struggling trying to get home and shit like that. Oh, uh, yeah. But champagne, I could drink. Like on the average, I drink like five bottles a weekend by myself. Oh, yeah. I drink wow. a, one bottle on Friday when I start get off from work. Two bottles Saturday, two bottles Sunday. You know what I'm saying? And when the bottle open, you gotta finish it, right? Oh, you got to. And it, hey, <laughs> you got to. It's gonna go flat. You know what I'm saying? Wasted bottle. Yeah, gonna be a wasted bottle. Oh, Man, that shit don't work. Hey, <laughs> listen, you still gonna be little, when you try that and go back to it. When you go back to it, you gonna fuck it up because you gonna have a certain taste in your mind yeah. how you want it to be. 
Yeah. You know how you go to McDonald's with them high fried or whatever? Or, or go to Root Christian with that steak and it ain't right? Yeah. So when you go to that bottle, and I done worked my ass off and I had a rough day at work, you go to that <laughs> bottle and you got that fucking yeah. air rated, whatever the fuck you call that thing. I know what you're talking about. I got a feel of it. It still ain't, it still ain't fresh like you want it. It ain't crisp. And then you're gonna be disappointed. So you might as well either pour that bottle out, pour it on somebody, shoot it up now, do whatever. Finish the bottle. Finish the bottle. Look. Yeah. So when you open one, you gotta finish it. Let's do this right quick. I'm gonna tell a story right quick. Happened to me last Sunday, no shit. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. To the good life. Good um, life, guys. And what we drank at Bamboo XO. This is Lil Wayne right here. So Bamboo, Wayne, Wayne got like three Bamboos out. I mean, you know, all of them by Severn. So all these are distributed by the same company. S-O-V-E-R-G-I-N, I think. That's how you spell okay, it. Yeah. It's kind of spelled a little different than Severn. We gotta tag them in here, y'all, yeah. so they can see yeah. Mm-hmm. That ain't bad. I don't. I don't do all uh, brown and and and, and, uh, and uh, rum and stuff. I don't okay. do that. Yeah. All I do is champagne. So all this is kind of like this extra today. Yeah. This special for us. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, man. Yeah, that's strong. Yeah, y'all won't see this again. So look, the story I got to tell y'all about last weekend with the bottle. Yeah. No shit. Oh, the bundle. It's all I had left, brother. Small bottle. You know. Don't, <laughs> hey, don't think I'm being cheap and cheap with you, bro. But it, you know what I'm saying. You, man. But look, yeah. look. I got like they sent me like twenty of these, but. They, they small. Yeah. So look, last weekend, I was hanging with a friend of mine, and um, I was supposed to have a photo shoot, but the girl kind of backed out on me or whatever at the last minute. So she was like, I'm going to make it up to you, whatever, with the walk. I'm like, all right. So kind of like a long story, but a, a happy ending story. Yeah. So man, she and I, we hung out. She went um, went out to eat and stuff like that. She wanted to apologize. And she was uncomfortable with her makeup or whatever. Uh, I, I feel it. Hey, I feel it. Yeah. Because guess what? If you uncomfortable you today, too? listen, if you're uncomfortable today, if you got the crap to blow it up, you know, your hair ain't cut right or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're going to yeah. be like, man, bro, I don't know. Hey. Yeah. You know? it, and then you ain't going to feel comfortable with, you know, being who you are. You ain't going to be the same person. So I wanted her in emotion. So I felt her. So she was like, let's do lunch, let's do lunch. I'm like, all right, cool. So, man, we, we did lunch and shit like that. We hung out. Man, as I was leaving, bro, I was leaving the little, the little place that we was at. Yeah. Man, I saw this girl from my hometown that I knew, and she was in New Orleans. And I'm like, damn. Perfect timing, huh? Hey, we're drinking the original bamboo right now. This is just regular bamboo right now. So, we home. Um, hey, now look, I'm going to tell you about the clear glasses, too. Remember to remind you about that. Okay. So, <laughs> we, I'm at, the, I'm at the spot, about to leave, and I see my homegirl. You know, from Plagma, right? So I hadn't seen her in a minute. And she's like, I know you. I'm like, you fucking right, you know you was at my birthday party. You know what I'm saying? It's always lady first, too. That's what oh, I'm going yes, to definitely, man. That's so, to reach all over here. the entire time, she saw me. And then I saw, I said, well, who you with? She's like, oh, my girl right there. No. The girl saw me, her girl saw me, whatever. And she like, oh, that's chill. What do I, what is, where the champagne at? I said, man, I see it right here. It ain't going nowhere. So I had bought a whole bunch of food and shit too. You know what I'm saying? I had, yeah. I had some Dennis. You ever eat Dennis seafood? Oh, yeah, I ate Dennis. Dennis pretty fine, though. I had the, I had the platter. Blade. Yeah, I had the big platter. Yeah, the, the, the big, full platter. The biggest one? The big one. That motherfucker huge. Yeah. I, saw that shit. I, feed, I feed everybody at the hotel <laughs> with that, right? So, man, dog, we laid up there and we drunk a bar. Yeah. Now, the girl ate that initially she had left. So this is my homegirl and her friend, which I knew her friend before, because she's a model, you know, doesn't work for me before. Yeah. Let's do a, do a, uh, this one here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just smelling it. You know what we fucking up at? The is? next bottle, look, all my bottles brand new. We ain't, you ain't got the ass. We, hey, none of that. None saw, of that. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I saw the struggle in the opening the bottle. It don't matter. Like, it don't matter. We supposed to tap that ass. <laughs> all we tap that ass. <laughs> Toast. To what? To we'll what? talk to the antidote, man, because you know what? We won't have no show without the antidote. Hey, man. I'm a, I'm a, hey, we're gonna do that to the antidote, and I'm gonna put this one here too. This one here for real life, my nigga. Oh, my nigga, for real right. life. Hey, y'all, feel me? Hey, know, look, look, one, one, thing, one thing about it, one thing about it, you look up here right now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I hate to say this like this, but real last, last meal was us three right here. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it meant something more, but our last meal with, with him. We're family, bro. Exactly. And we all knew it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, uh, and I do. Real talk. So try to build life. Already. Fuck it, man. You know, I did it again. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> so look. How you like that shit? Hey, what's the difference between this bamboo and the black bamboo? This is 
strong. Which one you like the best though? <laughs> I like the black one a little better. Right. Well, the black one, that's the XO. So the XO probably got more alcohol content. Okay. I'm sure. And this is the original right here. You yeah. know? 40% alcohol. Yeah, this one here probably. Ain't no telling what it got. Look on that. That bitch say, uh, maybe it's in the front. This one favorite. It ain't gonna say. The black oh, one is 35. Oh, white. So that's what the difference is, 35. 35? Yeah. She, so she, how you rank the bamboo? We done went through all three bamboo. Oh. Which one you like the best? Black, brown, white. All right. That's the, that's the order. Well, she like it white. Brown and then blue. Cool. Okay. So look, I'm out of the spot, man. And the girls, we're going, I'm going back to this. So they were like, man, oh, what you doing? I'm like, I'm, I, I, I had bought some food. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's what yeah, I do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm, we got liquor. You know, so, and I noticed, I know like everybody at the hotel, like everybody know me. So I always take care of them, you know, me to give them the money or feed them, doing something for them. Or yeah, yeah, them. yeah, yeah. So that's what I was doing that day. So she was like, all right. So man, look, we had finished one bottle. And I said, man, y'all want another bottle? She was like, she's like, she was like on a no, we were actually in the lobby. Oh. Hotel lobby is <laughs> my hotel lobby is my favorite. That's actually a good place to be. Hey, I'm telling you, because the, the vibe there, served it and everything. the vibe there is like awesome. The rooftop is cool, but it's outside. It's kind of humid, yeah. and I love being on rooftop too. But if I had to choose anywhere in my place to be in life, hotel I want lobby. hotel lobby, hands down. <laughs> you know, I think Quavo must be trying to make a song about that, huh? He did. Uh, Unk and all. Uh, what they call themselves now? They ain't no more Migos. It's Unk and all. Uh, oh. Yeah. That's what they call Unk and Nephew. Yeah. The one of them left. Off, offset. The one that's the one that's left off. Uh, the one that they called the beach. He left the group. Oh. So now they got a song called Hotel Lobby. Yeah. For real talk. Yeah. So Hotel Lobby is all my favorite thing to do. But anyway, she said, you open that box. She said, you gonna be out here struggling by yourself. She said, we ain't running that shit. She said, we fucked up already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I say, fuck it. I'm gonna poof, open that bitch. And y'all finished. No, we ain't finished it. What no other bitch made? Poof. Sound of success. You know what I'm saying? Motivation. So look. <laughs> the motherfucker left me. They left me. I had to enter the motherfucking bottle by myself. So disrespectful. And look, yeah. I live downtown. I mean, I don't live downtown. I live in Kenner. And from downtown to Kenner, like 12 minutes. Yeah. Man, that bitch took me like 40 minutes to make it home. <laughs> <laughs> I should have what? I don't know them like that. Like, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, everybody I deal with, like, like, I, 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 I give them. Yeah, I'm a certain small cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't reward bad behavior. I don't know them people, so I ain't about to. They don't get, they don't get to enjoy my, they don't get to enjoy my goddamn. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put this on the shirt, bro. No, 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 not for everybody. No, people I know. I know the staff. I know the staff there. I know too many people that in need. Yeah. So why would I give them to the motherfucker that unappreciative and ungrateful? That's gonna make you look bad. Exactly. I ain't gonna embarrass myself. Don't do it. It's nine o'clock on a Sunday night. I had been there since fucking 12 that noon. 12 noon that day. I was on that level, you hear me? Right. If I'm looking like this now, you think, hey, what time it is? Three o'clock? Early. Yeah, I was at nine o'clock at night, I was on that level. <laughs> So I was trying to empty that bottle, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, yeah. I ain't about to, you know, get rid of ain't it. Ain't wasted shit, man. Yeah, I ain't wasted though. No. Mm, it's a sin to waste alcohol. I the entire bottle. I had no choice. I had no choice. They looked at me crazy. They said, you gonna drag that by yourself? She said, we out. Yeah, I you got, got a trick question They said, you, we gotta bro. work in the morning or something. Hey, man, why you too simply, bro? I ain't lying. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. Simply, yes, I ain't lying. Why you too simply, though? Hey, but look, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna get that sponsorship next. I'm gonna keep 100 with you, bro. I always like the lemonade. Yeah. A coworker told me about Simply and Ciroc, right? Yeah. So, I be on the lakefront all the time. Y'all ain't drinking your water. You know, thirsty, y'all. So look, I always, I always used to do like Simply and Ciroc and all that and yeah. Grey Goose and shit. So, I was on the lakefront and Currency comes out there. Currency and I, you know, we know each other, we good acquaintance or whatever, right? So he comes out there and he um mixes this shit with with um, with, with Bella. Uh, and I'm like, damn, I said, my nigga, can I have it? <laughs> he said, man, you can have anything I got. He said, you want a car, you want one of my bitches? I'm like, no, I just want the, I want this champagne. I said, look, I just want the I just want the bubble. Yeah. He's like, man, you can have that chill. I said, you sure? I said, I'm about to run with it. Yeah. Just like that. So man, it was one day. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, so shit. From then on, on the lake, yeah. right in the cooler, I got a sip of lemonade. This is my mimosa. Fuck orange juice. Hey, you know man, what I'm saying? That shit killer, bro. It's better than mimosa, bro. 
Yeah. And yeah. I could drink it all day, every day, bro. Like, this is my shit. The only thing I don't like about it, it would fuck up a good glass. See how poppy that shit look? Yeah. I don't give a damn. I feel like my glass work. <laughs> be my glass work more than that drink you drinking over there. You know what I'm saying? You drink out of fact, I'm drinking out of Hey, so that's a suggestion you trying to sell simply? They sold a without the pump? Man, dude. Right? It, they don't, do it, it, don't, it don't even bother me though. The pork don't bother me. <laughs> it don't bother me. Cause I feel like you're moving for my money because look, with the pork, I feel like I'm drinking and eating at the same time. You know Max. what I'm saying? I'm just fucking. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <Where's the> fact? <laughs> so look. Man. So look. So the nigga, um, so the nigga currency told me I can have that shit. So I'm like, alright. So man, it was one day. Tapping. There you go, you tapping. I got this. Oh, you want me to hold it while you tap it? That's kind of fucked up. So look. <laughs> so look. So look, the nigga currency, give me the shit, right? So man, yeah. one day I was here at the um, I was here where we're filming at right now, right? Yeah. So nigga, I'm in this bitch. And I don't know who I was here, but I know Donnie Rose. You know Donnie Rose? Yeah. You know Donnie? No. When Donnie was like, honestly, I had a um back in like 2008, 2009. Maybe 2010, I had a group I had put together called ABC. It was AR. You know the rapper AR? Yeah. AR doing that blue black. Yeah. Blue black from out of Guardia and it had a uh, classic, classic from out of uh, St. Gabriel. Yeah. So I put them together and that was my group. So Donnie was one of the first person to do like real like hip hop showcase that I knew of, you know, in, in my era. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When I yeah. was, you know, real strong. Cause I always wanted, I never wanted to be like a 40 year old DJ. I thought that shit was whack. You know what I'm saying? So I always wanted to like keep like a. Uh, young crowd. No, not young crowd, nigga. Yeah. I wanted to keep a fucking, what's call it going? I wanted to keep something going. From DJing, I want to be like a DJ Khaled. But I ain't actually want to be in a club, cause right now, like the way I look at it, you know, the clubs I was DJing at, like I still like that rap shit. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, yeah, you hey, I still, like, I still like rap. Yeah. I like rap music, straight up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like R&B too, but. Kind of forced to do what they want you to do. Yeah, so anyway, Donnie was one of the first people to give me a chance with the rap group that I had. Yeah. So, okay. Donnie was here one day, like right here in the building. Donnie like, man, you need to call that shit to chill out. I'm like, huh? He said, nigga, to chill out. He said, bro, it's to chill out. Pour them up a cup. He said, nigga, it's to chill out. He said, nigga, it's to chill and bell out. And that's what I run with. That's what it is, to chill out. To chill out. Okay. Yo, this is the chill out right here. This motherfucking right. Hey, this, this hey, is the chill out. Let's drink some water first. Let's do pulled. the water first and let's do a toast next. You know what I'm saying? So what we drinking now? Look, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You drink this. How you say uh, it first, though? It's not, it's, it's, it's the villain. The villain, the villain, one or two. But listen, but listen. But listen. I'm actually, about two weeks ago, they made me actually ambassador of this also. Oh, man, congratulations, y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, I appreciate that, man. Thank you, bro. So, I'm a Bella and Villain, whatever villain, ambassador. Congrats. About two weeks ago, yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Hey, what so you it's a yak, right? It, it's, it's, it's a liqueur, but like a yak, so more like a Grand Marnier. Okay, so, yeah, but yeah, you, yeah, But let me know what you taste, what you think about it, too, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let me know what you think. Smell it. I'm, I'm in there, y'all. I'm in there. I think this, they, this supposed to be the, the Hennessy, I guess. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out because I'm still, I'm strung out behind the champagne. Hey, let's, let's figure this out right now. All right, let's figure it out. Ooh. Hey, so let me tell you what I think it tastes like. Keep it real. I had it before, and I remember now what, what I think it tastes like. You've had chai tea? No. I'm not a drinker. No, this is not even fucking liquor. This is like tea. It's a real tea. Okay. Chai tea, you got like cinnamon, <laughs> fucking cardamom, cardamom, uh, all kind of bunch of little crazy stuff in it. It, it tastes just like that it. It tastes like cinnamon and something. Yeah. This is probably a good mm. mix with something. Like, I don't know what you can mix this with though. Oh. Would you, you, would, you, would, you, would, you would you even compare like anything in a range of like a Hennessy or a cognac or anything like that? It, it's its own lane. You think so? Yeah. If this lane went over the hill, mm -hmm. it, it went up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. So. What do you see on the bottom? Handcrafted in beautiful Southwest of France. By the time tested small batch tradition, Vion is made from the fine VSOP cognac. So it got that yak in it, y'all. Yeah. It's good spirit. It's still from French wheat. Right. And natural flavors, smooth, balanced, and complex <laughs> with luxurious aromas of vanilla, spice, and toasted oak. Oh, you don't keep it served. How much alcohol extra. is in it? Cause I am, bro. I'm man, pretty stop, extra. I've been man. drinking. Hey, look. Would, we you, don't would, not you drink. Drink, would you drink that on ice or on the rocks? Uh, I like it straight. Okay. What about you? I would drink it on the rocks with something else, like maybe cranberry. I don't know. 
Okay. I like mixed drinks. Right. So do I. Um, I like mixed drinks. If I'm a drink or drink. Maybe even some lemonade. I don't know. Anything. Yeah. But straight. <laughs> Anything with straight? Man, shit, straight. So I wanted to hit the gut. So chill, man. I know it's man. You be pulling out these, these clear glasses, bro. Some of the clear glasses, bro. Hey, look. To be honest with you, I went to um, I went to, I went to Miami back in 2012, 2013. Okay. I had bought a brand new Cadillac, nigga. Mm. Hey, and I drove that bitch to Miami. That's the one thing I want. The day I bought that bitch on a Thursday, and I drove that bitch to Miami on a Friday morning. From here? Fucking right, it's nigga. A long ass ride. I didn't give a fuck. Thanks. Never riding in Cadillac. I didn't give a fuck. I saw you a glass house. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. I had some brand new Voltaire on that bitch in the grill, and I was ready to ride. Yeah. And I was ready to hit fucking God Dog on Ocean Drive and motherfucking, uh, what the other street is, uh, the Long Street, Collins, Collins Avenue, nigga. Yeah. And I had a room at the fucking Fountain Blue. I was, couldn't tell me nothing, nigga. So anyway, <laughs> back in 2013, so bro, I met this dude, man, and nigga, he from Oakland, but he like a pimp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he's a motherfucker. Hey, the nigga, he really like, he really that nigga. Like he be giving me a lot of game, like you know. So what do you call himself? No, his name is Zor. Zor. Z O R. Yeah. That's like his real name. Damn. Real shit. And he and I are real, real good friends. Actually, this weekend is his birthday weekend. I'm supposed to be in Miami this weekend for uh, Rolling Loud this weekend. Oh. Yeah. So anyway. That's nice. Happy birthday. He gave me, he gave, he gave me a lot of game though. He said, man, bro. And I heard Gates say this on one of his songs before. He said, bro. He said, man, nigga, like, white is my favorite color, but yeah. my favorite color I like to wear is two colors I like to wear. It's pink and red. Red is my favorite color I like to wear. Yeah. But pink, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like those are bold statements. Yeah. But a nigga, to, you know, a man to wear pink, confidence and red is like still a bold statement. I'm on like a politician type shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nigga, if a nigga wearing red, like, you know, red turn heads. That's how I feel. So anyway, niggas like say, bro. He said, when you in a when you in a in a club, or you in the atmosphere, or whatever, bro. He said, man. He said, look, I wouldn't even pull this drink on next, but now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I wouldn't pull this. Ooh, got that blue. Yeah. So look, he like, man, nigga, whatever. Whenever you in a club, he yeah. said, man, fuck what you drinking. He said, get a get a drink that match your attire. Oh man. He said, nigga, you can't do that. No, he said, you can't do that in no styrofoam cup. No. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Cause I used to always have styrofoam cups. So like. These fucking cups right here, nigga, I swear, these cups are five dollars. A fucking perfect, like bro. No, they high. This shit is high, nigga. This shit five dollars for like a 25 pack. These clear motherfuckers, nigga, this shit high. But I do that because the shit match my attire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, but think about it. It just goes together, you know what I'm saying? You got on pink today, man. Right here, right? Exactly. Perfect. And you got on red, you get you yeah. motherfucking cranberry or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how you do that shit. Y'all heard that noise? Shout out some motivation right there. We Success. Show it. I'm glad you, can't, you, but you, can't you can't get that bottle. Champagne. You can't do. You, you can't, can't do get that bottle. You can't. Can't pop this bottle of champagne because nah, you go. That noise is the. That's, yeah. the, that's the. That's uh, the cheers right there. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my the work. This your favorite champagne, the blue. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've been wanting to try the blue. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Right, my favorite is that black bottle right there. Mm. So yeah. it was blueberry flavored. Man, raspberry flavored. What the fuck that is? I don't know. It's like blueberry. Okay. Well, we gotta see what it is. You know. We're gonna do this to. We're gonna do this to uh, fuck Go DJ, bro. I like that. Yeah. To the Go DJ. Shit, yeah, yeah, Go DJ, y'all. Yeah. Okay, hey, bro. This is way better than I thought it was gonna be, man. Yeah. I heard some some weird people talk bad about it, but I know I can't go by their taste buds. I gotta hold my own. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, most with this. Oh shit, that uh that juice right there, that sip. Yeah. Might be a toy. You tried it yet? I did. Did you like it? I always go back to this. Yeah, that, that this is, is the number one. Hey, that's my number one. That is Chile. That's my baby. Is Everything Chile. else is somebody else. Yeah. I ain't, okay. hey, I ain't trying to hear nothing else. I'm going to be honest with you, the white bottle of Bella, probably my favorite solo bottle. Okay. And why is that? Just taste the Lux, the, the white Lux bottle. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, something. I don't know, it kind of, I think it might remind me of like a Moscato or something like that. Okay. But I don't have to mix it with anything to drink it. I don't have to mix that with the drink it either. Because I'm in the club, like, more clubs I go to, I can bring my own bottles. You know, yeah. where I go. Yeah. If they sell, if they sell Bel Air at a club, I'm pretty much to walk in with my own bottles or get a yeah. free bottle or whatever. But 
I drink that by alone. I drink all Bel Air alone when I'm at the nightclub. I'm not gonna walk around with a bottle of fucking lemonade too. Even though I would like to, but yeah. it's too much to be, you know, maneuvering with. And how many flavors they got a Bel Air, bro? I make five. Five. They got white, okay. they got the white, blue, black bottle, the pink bottle, and the gold bottle. Yeah, that's right. Yep. I might be so missing no, one, but I think it's fine. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. So what we're going to do an industry night, and actually it's going to be called the Listening Lounge. We're mm -hmm. going to do it at the Cadillac Cafe on Blue Bottle. Yeah. So what we're doing, uh, once, a, once a month we're doing a focus list for um, all the all local artists on here. And it's not the top 20 songs in the city. Yeah. The top 20 songs that we're actually pushing okay. in the city. And PK, PK is my vice president. I'm going to be honest with y'all, but I'm going to keep it real with y'all. PK my dog, PK like my brother. Yeah. PK is vice president, but the motherfucker really should be president. Cause hey, he got it down, bro. The motherfucker got the the, the mindset, yeah. the vision, and everything you tell me to do, I do it. I listen to him more than he listen to me. We recently dropped his episode, bro. Hey, I saw the so first PK, episode. Y'all did two episodes with him. Oh uh, yeah, we're so y'all, so y'all, so y'all let y'all let PK do two episodes and let me do one. No, no, you've done three. I'm just he done three. This is no, you've done three. This no, is no, the, the, no, one of we didn't, we didn't even add them. Oh, oh, which one actually aired? Okay, two. See what I'm saying? So you on your second so, one right now? So PK in front of me. See, I told you he was in charge. I told you. <laughs> PK man, hey, hey he bro. said it, he said it. Here. Hey, he my dog though, like for real. <laughs> PK, hey, honestly, I had a lot of people come to me with all kind of different propositions and all that shit, this yeah. and that, man. And this, this shit, and as long as I'm here standing, as long as I'm here breathing, I got at least a stack. And we can go higher than that. Yeah. On, on anybody in the state of Louisiana. Against PK? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it here. Hey. I ain't gonna, I'm a bit with you. Hey. <laughs> hey, look, I'm talking about from hosting, I'm talking about to being a real DJ. Yeah. I ain't talking about no hosting, nothing like that. I'm talking about from top to bottom, from mixing, scratching, yeah. everything, and just hosting. Hey. Hey, at least I'm start off right there with that. Hey, PK, you heard it here, bro. Yeah. You talking about you, dog? Yeah, he my dog. You know what I'm saying? And look, and me and him, you know, we like night and day, but yeah. we, we balance each other out, though. You know what I'm saying? You and need that balance, knows. man. Yeah. He don't, like that he don't, and that. Yeah, he don't agree with everything I do. I don't agree with everything he do, but we come together. That's and, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And look, and look, I don't talk to him every day, no. He want to talk every day. You don't have Hey, I don't, hey, cause the nigga, hey, he make me, he be, be thinking, he be making me think too hard, bro. And that's what be killing me. I'm like, man, look, I ain't about to do all that shit with you, bro. Not right now, bro. Not right now, no. Oh, indeed. You know? So look, so we, and that's gonna be on Monday night. We're gonna start the second Monday of every month. Yeah. We're gonna have, in um, industry night, and then it's gonna be called the Listening Lounge. And we're gonna have, open it up for artists to perform. And we're gonna do 12 to 20 artists a night. Okay. Because we have focus list. So we actually on the focus list, we have 20 artists that we're focusing on. And actually, um, be honest with you, bro, um, the song with um, um, Delwin okay. and D Matic, that's the number one song right now. Hey, that's actually a fire song, bro. Yeah, I'm a G, you know what I'm saying? I'm mad. That's number uh, one song. I'm gonna be here to watch the rest of the progress from that song, bro, because that bit was hard, though. Yeah. And to be honest with you, we, we, we working it. Like, uh, we really working the song real good. Yeah. Real <laughs> that's what's up. And yeah. that's gonna be every Monday at the Cadillac? No, no. No. The second Monday of the second month. Second Monday of the month at yeah, the Cadillac. Yeah. Right. Man, maybe I, I gotta drink the show up out there. I'm, 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 you you know, want that, bro? It would make I me mean, feel real proud if you did, bro. Okay. Real talk. You know. That's probably but, a good day of the week for me, too. Yeah. Monday. So, look, yeah. another thing I have going on um, every quarter. So, on August, I think it's August 13th, that's the date. Is the black bottle brunch? Mm. I would like it up there. Okay. I did it, I did it back in uh, in uh, March, and I'm doing it again this month. I mean next month, April. I mean uh, August um, 13th. You said that? Huh? Yep, yeah, August 13th. Okay. I'm doing a black bottle brunch. Yeah. So basically, it's gonna be we we'll have brunch available, and every bottle that's available is gonna be a black bottle. You know what I'm saying? Everybody drinking champagne that night. Black bottle champagne. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna have different brunch stuff on the menu. But your milk choice of mimosas that night is definitely gonna be a, a black bottle with simple lemonade to chill out. Chill out all home. night, y'all, on the 13th. Yeah, August 13th. So we're doing that. So that means you gotta drop this episode real soon so people can know that. 
You can't, you can't wait. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait. Can't hold it back, <laughs> man. We look, we're going to see you soon. Yeah, because we'll be there it's still 13. July right now, so yeah. you got time to drop it. You know what I'm saying? So let that, let that promotion get out. And um, another thing I got going on is um, free time of the year, man. You know, I used to feed the homeless. Okay, yeah, yeah. We need to know about that because, man, if you ain't giving back, you ain't doing nothing. You whack. Yeah, because to be honest with you, <laughs> To be honest with you, like, you know, I, I grew up in the church and stuff like that. And my mom was real in the church and stuff. Yeah. But man, I ain't giving these crooked ass passes my money no more. Hey, bro. I, hey, hey, and I ain't, ain't knocking it. Because yeah. I, I can give you $100 right now. I, I can't. You can't guide, you can't guide you can go, what you did with it. You know what you're going to do with it. But if I know people right there that's, that's in need, I'd rather support them yeah. than to have somebody riding in their brand new Cadillac and Lincoln. There's multiple like that. ways to do ties. That's, that's yeah, exactly. Right? There's multiple ways. You ain't and I gotta take that. I gotta take that up with God. You know what I'm saying myself. You Between know? you and God, bro. That's right. Yeah. Right. Hey, I think that's dead ass. Hey, that alcohol can That's a fact, though, bro. It's real talk, though. Yeah, it's yeah. fact. So how you got the name Chill Chill? <laughs> Nigga, I was in high school. I was in ninth grade. I never forget. Ninth grade. On the right, my my best friend. His name was James Wood. And we sit on a bench. Yeah. And we had to skip in class because the hour before lunch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we skip. I had pee before lunch, so I skipped pee. <laughs> we sitting outside, man. A nigga looked at me and said, man, dude named James Wood called himself Dookie. He said, man, you the coolest Dookie? nigga out. <laughs> yeah, his name was Dookie. Why your name was Dookie? His name was Dookie, not mine. I don't know why. <laughs> why, why the name Dookie? That's from a childhood. I met the nigga, man. I don't know how he ain't some all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was 14 years old at the time. I don't know. Hey, you just wrong with it, though. That's my dog. That's his name. That's what you do with for your dog. Hey, my dog name. I ain't gonna, gonna question why your name. I ain't gonna question why why everybody call you T Lim. Cause that's a normal name. No, it ain't. No, it's ain't, not. ain't nothing normal it's about like T. I ain't lying. Show do. Ain't T. Lin. Hey. Wait, what? Hey. <laughs> hey, look. Look, sound like somebody named my guy don't color purple. Be honest with you. Like Sicily. T. Lin. <laughs> yes, it do. Nice. Yes, it do. Sound the same. Talking about T. Lin. What the it's fuck? Nice. T is auntie and then Lin. <laughs> and why What the fuck? That's T. Lin. T. Lin. Fuck. Who says it's T? We say auntie. Oh. Who say, who say chili? That nigga, me. Chili, chill. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. What? I would, hey, if I was that nigga, I would be on this show. Yeah. What the fuck? Anybody right. in this motherfucking show is somebody, right? Hey, dead ass. Hey, man. Right. Now, I done seen a lot of niggas, man. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. Hey, lie, look. Y'all fuck me up, bro. Hey, nigga, y'all gotta be sweating up this motherfucker. Hey, the man. First, hey, hold on. The, the best show I seen. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Which one was it, bro? I mean, watching the shit, cause it's like, man, look, I'm gonna take over this shit, man. I'm gonna do this shit the right way. So look, that nigga Greg the Goon, man. That nigga clown. Hey, hey Greg went hard. That nigga clown, bro. Sound the Greg Goon. That nigga Somebody clown. Know. Straight up. Straight up, that nigga clown, bro. Hey, he he let like, it all loose. Hey, he did, he did. Hey, you can tell us a country ass nigga that didn't give a fuck. Hey, yeah, bro, man. you know I grew up with that nigga, bro? I can tell. <laughs> nah, so, what you know? I've been with that nigga for the longest, dog. Mm. He from, uh... Ascension? He been from the, uh... Ascension, Paris? I will say Chinatown, but Chinatown by way of the mound. Chinatown? So, like, like Baton Rouge Chinatown? Like, no, Chinatown Gonzales. Man, no you Chinatown Gonzales. You got all those and shit, dog. Hey, hey, I'm hey, kidding. Hey, I see what, okay, what, what, what was I to go back? What was I to go to? What? When you start talking, I say... You oh, hey, chill. How many, uh... Why are we drinking champagne? Success. That's why. <laughs> Cause he talking that bullshit. I said, anytime we talk bullshit, I'm like, niggas say got a Chinatown in motherfucking Gonzalez. Man, get the fuck out of here. So hey, look, man. Anytime we talk bullshit, what's all to go? They got Chinatown be on? Man. I ain't know that shit myself. Hey, cause you're stuck in that mentality, that small mind mentality right there. So look, what, uh, every time when you talk bullshit, we going back to? Hey, chill. Why are we drinking champagne? All right. Why are we drinking champagne? The reason I'm drinking champagne, I went to the same nigga in fucking, uh, <laughs> the next same nigga I met in fucking Miami, that nigga say, bro, when you open the bottle, man, it's success. Success. It's success. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's kind of motivation. You know you what I'm saying? self-made, you have success on that bitch, too. Yeah, oh, wait, look, wait, wait, wait. It's look. on... Hey, all that means success, all, man. All, we can't... Hey, it's all this right here. That's right all they got right there. Look That's everything right there. Look at this. So, yeah. <laughs> so, look. It's your boy Mike Hustle. Shout out to the Antidote. Hey, man, check out my new jersey, bro. I just dropped these the other day. Good authentic feel, bro. It's like the old Venice NBA jersey, you know what I'm talking about? Everything stitched from the tags to the letters on the jersey, bro. The detail. I got the white, I got the blue, baby blue. I thought I had the white one on. I'm drunk. I got the baby blue on and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I got my new design right here, my baseball jersey t shirt that's coming. 
you know what I'm, I'm turning this to a hoodie also, and I got my belts. I ain't nobody doing belts like this, bro. Like a good quality belt. And it long, and put a thing out like this. Good quality. Good quality. Yeah, I feel so good. It's thick. No, no, this shit's so dope. I ain't gonna lie, man. Hold your pants up for all y'all niggas that wanna say and yeah. shit. Make sure I go check out foreverhustle.com. Oh, yeah, foreverhustle.com. It's the website. Check them out. He got a store in Jackson. Yeah, yeah North Jackson. Park Mall. Come see you. North Park Mall. Yeah, good quality, man. Yeah. Look, Louisiana Daiquiri Factory. You can follow me at LA underscore Daiquiri Factory. And look, this is how we rolling with it. I'm making daiquiris with premium alcohol. You see this shit? That's what I'm making my daggers with. This is Alpha Cognac. We make this with V-Long. Y'all, this shit fire. We make a tropical passion with this new Syrah. We got a um, green apple. That's his favorite. It's my favorite, y'all. Peach Douce, Strawberry Hennessy. Plenty of different flavors. Just follow me at Louisiana Dagger Factory. So, you can call me, DM me, or text me, and I'm pulling up. Certified. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. I got drink. Down. So look, <laughs> up next, I got the McQueen. <laughs> uh, this is actually a gin. Uh, Wiz Khalifa right here. And all this is also, again, Severn. All this shit the same. I mean, I come under the same umbrella with Severn and everything like that. The dude named Brett Paris actually owns all of this. He's the owner. Uh, he's the owner. I heard gin is really a vodka though. Huh? I heard gin is really a vodka. And I, 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 can, I can agree with that to a certain extent. Yeah, it's yeah. just flavor. It's the flavor of vodka, right? I don't, know, I don't know the flavor, and I don't know what, I don't know what flavor this it will be, but the gin flavor. So, the gin flavor is like uh, juniper, it's like a bunch of different fucking herbs and shit. You mix all the herbs together, and then you get gin. But it's vodka first. Oh, now it's I'll buy that shoe. I'll buy that shoe. I'm in here. <laughs> so, how you feel about champagne versus wine? Oh, uh, I don't like wine. I like champagne better. I ain't gonna lie, bro. So, champagne does know, feel better. You know they're the same, right? Yeah, they are the same. They one is bubbly, one is flat. Yeah. 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 And, and it actually, champagne comes from Champagne, France. It can't be champagne if it ain't from France. Cool. Champagne, France, right? And certain wines, uh, depending on what kind it is, the berries that you use to make that beer gotta come from that same area, right? Right. 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 Yeah. So you don't have champagne in the U.S. You got wine in the U.S. Somebody tell me in the bottle. Yeah. So when I ask you, um, uh, everything we had so far, what's what's your favorite? Um, everything we had so far. I would say, I mean, I really like this. Okay. Yeah. So far, I ain't gonna lie, I like all of those, but that, that McQueen is a little different, bro. I like the McQueen more than the rest of them. So you had you had the McQueen. You had yeah. the McQueen. I had McQueen before. All right, we'll try one more time and just one more time for your mind. Oh, it ain't, it ain't gonna change my mind. I know it's gonna be. No, no, one more time, time for your mind. I ain't trying to change your mind. Yeah. I said one more time for your mind today. Okay. Yeah. Stop. Watch my. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> I won't say anything you get. Or better. We're gonna do a toast to this time. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do a toast to. Today, earlier today, rolling out of this weekend, but earlier today, I looked on uh, online. I'm sorry, right I looked online and I saw, uh, I think it was Lil Baby in New York. I saw somebody up in New York. Yeah. I don't know if it was Madison Square Garden or what it was, but they had a concert up there. Yeah. So it was Lil Baby, um, Chris Brown, somebody else. I can't think. And maybe Gunner, I think, yeah. was performing. Yeah. And when Chris Brown came out tonight, it made me think about, because I've been watching y'all show. Like, I've been on here before, and like, I know the owner, I know Joe. Big up to Joe, man. Man, shout out to Joe. Hey, hey. Shout out to Joe. He, he's Mr. Antidote. If y'all don't know him, he my J Prince. You feel me? That's the nigga I answer to. Real shit. Hey, that nigga be saying hey. some, some hey, better shit some sometimes. Shit. So, but, but, but even at that, though, when I looked at the gunner, I mean, the way Chris Brown came out at the concert, mm. I was more amazed about how you came out. And when I say how you came out, I saw the lighting. I saw the production of him. The, the way the stage came up and shit like that, and the rose and all that. No one ever 
they always give uh, uh like they give they give all the respect to Shannon Sharp. And what's the other dude name on that on the show? Uh, on Shannon Sharp show. What the fuck is Skip Bayless. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they always give to the host. Yeah. And not not discrediting the host because we're all a team. Yeah. But it's the motherfucker behind the scene that made this shit happen. That's what like we're the platform against. is the reason why we're here. Shout out to Joe. Exactly. And not just a shout out to Joe. I'm gonna shout out to everybody, every producer, every executive, everybody that makes shit happen. That's what I'm gonna do a shout out to. It takes a special because person way, to do that. Hey, exactly. And even all the choreography and all that shit, behind the scenes shit. When I saw Chris Brown come out the stage tonight, he's like the niggas walking on air. And when I saw the nigga, I said, bro, you still moving like that? And he got it. Hey, shout out to everybody behind the scene to put the shit together. Not, just the, not just the motherfucking in front of the camera, behind the camera. Right. Hey, bro, that shit's still fire. Yeah. It don't taste like nobody else's gin, bro. It is nobody else's gin tastes it's like smooth. this. It's definitely smooth. It's, just, uh, it's strong. All gins are strong. Yeah. But that shit is good. Cool. Like, I done had some bad stories on gin, man. I done fucked hey, up too long. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I look at this set right here, you know, and I can pat myself on the back for this. You know, I'm gonna pat yourself, pat y'all on the back too. Appreciate it, cause nobody. I know, know y'all. I know y'all do this every week. You know, but how? You know, y'all been doing what? How many episodes y'all done? Like 50, 100? Shit, we going on 30 ish plus. Just 30 for the season. Plus, just this just season. for the season. All right, how many? Season? What's the y'all third season, right? Oh, uh, third season. Yeah. Actually, y'all done shit. At least 90 to 100 episodes y'all done, right? A lot of shit. Reality. Yeah. yeah. All right. One week in a month, man, we go and we hey. put our fucking ass in that bitch. Hey, y'all, hey, I applaud y'all for that salute, man. Two days a, a fucking month. Hey, look, it's easy for me to come up here and do this once every two years. But it's hard to do the shit, keep the shit going. Yeah. Consistency. A lot of win. prayer. Yeah. yeah. A lot of prayer. And you know, yeah, other, one day. A lot of water. <laughs> you know that? Well, it's your water right now. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> but the other thing I want to say is, um, thank y'all for having me on the show. I'm going to end this. But I got something else I want to say before all this. It's like a fucking, it's like a fucking house party over here. Let's look up, we got it. We've been drinking our ass off. I don't fucked up. Hey, we in this bitch, y'all. The thing is this too. Surround yourself around people that motivate you. Hundred percent. If somebody not motivating you, not expressing who you really are, yeah, helping you, then you need to leave them alone. And you know another one, another one. You gotta say genuine to the same people you are uh, talking yeah. to and dealing with, right? Loyalty. Yeah, Cause that 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 makes a motherfucker strong. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It corrects. You gotta be ready for constructive and, criticism. You gotta be, you gotta be you open, know? open for that shit too. Yeah. And if somebody not helping you grow, launch is one they don't, thing. They don't give a fuck about you doing help you. Well, the thing about it, launch is one thing for an individual, you know, to be around you. Launch is cool. But launch it to a fake motherfucker that's envying you, it's time to let him go. Association bring along simulation. Yeah. And always keep that in mind. Like, <laughs> hey, real shit. No you know, lack you, you, hang, you hang around a crackhead, what you think you're gonna be? You're gonna be a crackhead. And you hang around a million, that's what you're gonna you be. You're a million. All right, then. That's <laughs> I, and then, I, But you can't, be, you can't be law. You can't just cut somebody you grew up with from the hood and stuff like that. Nah, you, just because, you gotta cut ties, dog. You gotta visit them when it's time. Uh, uh, see them don't have a spoon. At least you know that person. Yeah. And as long as you know your personality, you can grow. Yeah. But if you don't know your personality and not study your personality, you know, you can't grow. And nobody wants to have to know it all either. So nice. sometimes you gotta play dumb. Yeah, and to listen. Learn. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you know a little something about something, keep your mouth closed, ears open. This is actually the most important thing you've got right here, these, these ears. Talking, now you can say whatever the fuck you want to. Yeah. But you can't stop what you hear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get you. So look, shout out to everybody that fuck with me. Everybody that fuck with you. I have my leg. I'm gonna keep doing this up. Motherfucker, you drunk. Where can we follow you? Tell the people out there where we can follow you. Hey, look, you can follow me, DJ Chilla Chill. I know you're gonna bring your ragged ass phone up right now, but put this shit in the fucking app in the bottom or whatever, description or whatever. DJ Chilla Chill. And um, I got a lot of shit going on that I won't be a part of. And I hope y'all support me. Like, I fuck with y'all, I fuck with you. Because the DJ is no better than the artist, no artist is no better than the DJ. We need each other. We need each other, 100%. Yeah. And then, not only that, like, the support that we get from each other, it goes a long way. And I'm here to support anybody to help me. I mean, yeah. that, that, that's willing to be, that want to, you know, support me. Yeah, definitely. Bridge. I'm here. I'm and here to support I'm, you, bro. I'm, I'm fucked here up. Here to support you. Oh, I'm fucked up. Hey, the antidote is the shit, y'all. Fuck that. Yeah, I got drunk. You know what I'm saying? We fuck with everybody. Make sure yeah. you follow the host as well. 
at G-O-T-T-R-A-K-Z. Make sure you follow me at XOXO underscore you are as truly. Make sure you follow I Got Drink TV the Antidote. We're on all the social media platforms. So make sure again you follow our guests, like, subscribe, share, everything. And that's a wrap for another episode of I, I Got, Got Drink. Drink. Hey, I'm fucked up, boy. I'm fucked up. <laughs>